Hey guys, how's it going? It's in front of me again. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Type Lock. And if you guys missed it in the last episode, we took on two gym leaders, starting with Chuck of Cyanwood City and then Jasmine of Olivine City. Uh, it was a pretty impactful episode. Uh, I had a shiny before we found the guaranteed shiny, which might be happening in this episode, depending. Um, and uh, we also lost a team member, won't say who, but uh, you should definitely go check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the link to that will be down in the description or up in the cards so you guys can check that out. And this episode, like I said, we're going to be moving toward the Lake of Rage uh, to possibly get our Red Gyarados, which will be randomized to a different shiny Pokemon. Uh, if it is a type we haven't unlocked yet, we will catch it since it's a static and just not use it until we do unlock its type. But we have most of the types unlocked now. We have Dragon, Ghost, Ground, Fire, Flying, Ice, Steel, Bug, Water, Normal, Dark, and Electric. So that's a lot of types unlocked. But um, before we get started, make sure to slap the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're on the road to 1.5k by the end of the year. So that would be really, really helpful. I'll link to all my socials are down in the description. You got Twitter. You got Facebook. You've got TikTok. You've got all the good stuff down there, including my Discord server. So you should definitely join that as well. Um, and uh, yeah. Without further ado, I'm just going to tell you guys um, what the team's looking like. Uh, Jasmine's ace was level 35, so I decided to get everybody up to 36. Um, so that's where everybody is right now. Uh, new moves learned. Fire Fang is on Charizard now. Uh, we have Rock Slide on Avdol and Lava Plume. Uh, I replaced um, the Go Omnis Wind with Earth Power. Uh, which kind of makes camera up seem kind of useless, but um, I just think, you know, having that coverage is good for us. Plus, Ominous Wind was only 60 base, so uh, we have, we've we got our good Ghost-type moves on set here. Uh, who did not learn any new moves, I don't believe so. Um, Blue Moon knows Sheer Cold now, so I'm hoping to pick up Lock On or something like that soon. And uh, Okuyasu knows Dragon Claw instead of Dragon Rage now, and uh, I gave it the Strength HM. And I believe it knows Slash. I, I'm pretty sure that's new. Uh, it evolves in six levels because of uh, easier evolutions being on. So very, very excited for that. But that's the way the team's looking now. Um, I guess we could start by battling this Fisherman. I kind of dodged him so we could battle him during the episode. So uh, Trainer Eliza with an unknown. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't worth it. Hey, it's our it's our Aquaza from the Shiny Lock. <laughs> an unknown X. Obviously, it's not shiny, but... Um, yeah, if you guys didn't see my Pokemon Emerald Shiny Lock I did uh, a few months back, uh, our Rayquaza ended up being an unknown. And uh, the cool thing about resetting the game for unknown uh, is that you get a different one every time. You get a different letter every time. And I ended up with a Shiny Unknown X, which I named Xavier after my brother. Alright. And uh, in case you're wondering, Wildland, wow, you have a brother named Xavier. Uh, is he named after anything specifically or anything like that? Uh, yeah, he's named after Professor Charles Xavier from the X-Men. <laughs> My stepdad, uh, is a huge Marvel fan of the world. At least he used to be when he was a teenager. Now he's just, like... I mean, he spent the whole weekend, one weekend... Like, my mom was gone the whole weekend. He spent the, the time, uh, watching Marvel movies. Uh, and he watched the shows and everything like that. Also, I, speaking of my stepdad, hi, Kevin. I heard that you watch my videos now, so shout out to you, Kevin. How's it going? Um... All right, Shimeko. That's the psychic type. I don't know why I'm thinking too hard about this. I can just drag and claw it. Um, but yeah, I mean, our levels of our Pokemon are just too strong. Like some might say that I'm over leveled, but like, it is what it is. Oh, I should also mention, this is really, really important. Shout out to Jake Crobats. He sure is a gentleman. Um, a couple of things. Oh, it's all glitched out. Gotta love that. A couple of things. Um, I picked, uh, I went through the cave, I went through Mount Mortar, uh, where we got our encounter at the end of the last episode, and, uh, I got a lucky egg, I picked up a lucky egg, so that's really, really cool. Um, I guess I got a couple of other things to tell you guys. Um, just to let you guys know, um, when you're watching this on Wednesday, uh, it'll be the same day that Derek puts out the sixth episode of our other current series going on, which is the Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, Three Ways Soul Week, with myself... Derek and Jeknition. Um, three episodes went up this week. Episode four went up on my channel. Episode five went on Jack's channel. And today, like I said, Derek had episode six. Definitely go check out that series. The playlist is in the playlist section of the channel. 
And the last thing I wanted to mention is that this previous weekend, uh, week two of the Elite Battle League matches went up. Um, my match against Jack himself, and I'm battling Derek this this week, the week of this episode, week three, I'm battling Derek, so um, definitely excited to battle Derek, both of my sooling partners two weeks in a row. Um, so for anybody that, that is um, not into the EBL or hasn't like, like is in the EBL and hasn't watched any of the matches yet or anything like that this season, I won't spoil it for you, but let's just say the Iowa Incineroar are doing pretty good this weekend for uh, getting involved with VGC for the first time. Um, but yeah, definitely go check out the EBL, get involved with it. Uh, the second section of my channel section is, um, the Elite Battle League, everybody in the Elite Battle League, except for Forsaken Ace. Um, his first uploads were Elite Battle League up uh, uploads, so, uh, YouTube doesn't really pick up his channel yet. Um, so I haven't been able to add him to the channel section, because when I search him up in the, in the, um, settings, it doesn't bring up his channel. Um, but if you go to, like, one of my videos from the Elite Battle League, all the coaches' links will be down in the description, so you can, uh, check out his channel through that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the Elite Battle League. Thank you to everybody that's been keeping up with that, and, uh, shout out to all the coaches watching this episode right now. You guys rock. Alright. Yeah, we're just acing all of these trainers. I don't think- we're not getting much experience from them, because I'm not putting the Lucky Ego on any of our mons, so... Might as well just skip as many as we can. We're already in Mahogany Town, so we're on our way to the Lake of Rage, guys. We're gonna get a free shiny this episode. Isn't that exciting? Wait, I gotta make sure I got the right amount of balls. Gotta make sure. Yeah, we could buy some more. If it ends up being like a legendary or something like that, then I'm gonna wanna have plenty of Pokeballs, but I mean, the last Red Gyarados I got was not like the hardest Pokemon to catch, because it wasn't, like, the most legendary Pokemon, but it ended up being one of our MVPs of the series, and I was really happy about it. Uh, it was Zangoose, which I'm a Hoenn guy, so you'd think, oh, Zangoose is already a cool Hoenn Pokemon. That must have always been one of your favorite Pokemon. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. I thought it was cool, but I didn't, I didn't see it as, like, one of the best Pokemon. It didn't stand out too much to me, but after using one, and uh, of course, you guys know I love blue shinies, and shiny Zangoose is amazing as a blue shiny. Um... Oh, we're spinning around, isn't that cool? <laughs> Gotta love these sprites that don't even align to any specific character. <laughs> like, my Pokemon behind me was just a spinning top. Okay, is there no Pokemart in Mahogany Town? This is the Slowpoke Tail guy, I'm pretty sure. Or the Rage Can you bar. Uh, yeah. See, even if you buy one, he tells you to shoe, so I guess... I guess if I want to buy more Pokeballs, I gotta fly back to, um, uh, Olivine, so we'll go ahead and do that. Where's Olivine? That's Goldenrod. That's Cyanwood. We want to go to Olivine. I'll speed up just because we're flying there, and then we'll fly back and, uh, catch our, our shiny. Can't wait to see what we get, because it's, it's so... Johto randomizer Nuzlocke playthroughs, or randomizers, if anybody plays randomizers without doing Nuzlocke rules, if you do that, good for you. Um, <laughs> but, um, it's just so cool doing Johto playthroughs randomized, because, like, you get a, you get a free shiny. And it's not the basic Gyarados you get when you play the game normally. I mean, we're only going to be able to buy one. I have some stuff to sell. I'll just go ahead and uh, sell some stuff. Sell some stuff, buy some stuff. That's our friend Timmy B's favorite game. Um, we're definitely going to keep all these potions that we have. Um, I don't use poison bars. That's not going to give us much money anyway. Um, I don't use plates. It's not like we're going to get an Arceus or anything like that. So I'll sell these. <laughs> um, definitely not going to sell the Lucky Egg, duh. Um... I, I will keep the metronome. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but... Just want to buy some pocket monster balls. We can only buy two great, more great balls, okay. That's fine. We got nine great balls, ten ultra balls, and uh, four regular Pokeballs. We should be fine. We should be fine. Unless it's some insane legendary Pokemon, we should be fine. So, let's set sail to go back to Mahogany Town. And, uh... Let's move towards the Lake of Rage. Try to avoid as many trainers as we can and get to the Red Gyarados ASAP. 
Because not only do we get the static red Gyarados, but we also get a regular encounter from there as well, so... Pretty excited to see what we get. Oh, I figured we have to pay Team Rocket. They're probably gonna take all of my money. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess they didn't take my money. Got him. Alright, let's see what this is. Mental Herb. I don't know why that seemed so interesting for me for a second. Actually, um... We don't have to go through that way. What is... Is this Route 43? I just want to double check. Yeah, it's Route 43, so we do get another encounter over here. I couldn't just gone through the grass in the first place. Uh, let's see what we can get. I'm trying to avoid all the trainers, like I said before. Alright. Is this a type we have unlocked? It sure is. I will take I will take an uh, Espeon. Wait. No, we don't have Psychic unlocked. I don't know why I thought we had Psychic unlocked. I was really confident. Never mind. Well, I would have taken an Espeon. I love Espeon, but we don't have Psychic yet, so... Let's see what we can get. Oh, don't taunt me, Espeon. You know I can't catch you. Just give me something that I can catch. I can catch that! This will also unlock fighting for us, right? Let's go! We're gonna catch ourselves to Josh. Shout out to Lonely Hermit. Uh, I'm gonna Sand Tomb it, cause... Oh, well, you missed, but... Yeah, I knew that wouldn't kill, but... Um... The Sand Tomb doing chip damage is definitely gonna do some uh, hits to it, so... Hopefully it stays in this Ultra Ball. It's really, really low in the red and level 15. Come on. Come on, Josh. Game Boy Luke. Let's go. We catch a fire type and we unlock fighting. Let me go ahead and add that to the notes. I will definitely take an Infernape. This might actually... Uh, I mean, we do have Karate Chop on, on set. But I feel like this would be a better option for us than Camerupt. I guess I'll decide it after this episode, but I know the theme of, of our uh, series, our nickname theme here is um, Pokemon name, I mean JoJo names, but you know, I just feel like it's a given that whenever I catch a member of the Chimchar family, I gotta name it after Josh, so shout out to Josh the Lonely Hermit, one of the coaches of the EBL, great friend of mine, um, we even did a rival walk together back in... Uh, I can't pin exactly when it was. I, I think it was... We started it when Noah moved, so I think that was around April. It was a good series. It was a really good series. I, I ended up losing that spoiler alert, but it was it was fun nonetheless. It was the first series I ever used uh, Sceptile, my previous uh, favorite Pokemon in. So it was definitely a lot of fun. Okay, this is going to be a big uh, amount of experience points. If we had the Lucky Egg on Okuyasu right now, he'd definitely be leveling up. <laughs> Okay, Dragon Claw's gonna one-hit kill. How much experience? A thousand, okay. Okay, maybe he wouldn't have leveled up, but he would have gotten pretty darn close. I'm really excited for Okoyasu to, uh... You know, I won't say, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx anything. I'm really glad that uh, the Infernape only took one Ultra Ball, but guys, it is time to get our free shiny Pokemon. Hello, sir. Or madam. Okay, stop moving. I want this to be an epic moment. Alright, our free shiny Pokemon is going to be a C dot. It's gonna be a C dot. <laughs> okay, so this is actually interesting. This is an interesting concept. We don't have the grass type unlocked, but we do have the dark type unlocked. So if I evolve this, I, I know it's because that's literally what happened with Grodel. The fact that it wasn't ground type, and even if I evolved it, that would be against the rules. But since this is a static and I'm count catching it anyways, I feel like if I evolve it into Nuzleaf, which will literally be a next level evolution, that's when it becomes dark, so... Can I do it that way? Because I, I feel like that's kind of against the rules, because that would entail that I would unlock the, gra the grass type by catching it. But... I don't know, let's just catch it, and uh, I'll let you guys decide. Let me know down in the comments if uh, we should be able to use this shiny or not. I'm mo mostly asking Timmy, because uh, I'm basically using his rules. Timmy, let me know if you think that um, uh, I should be able to use this if I evolve it right away. Because uh, Shiftry, I wouldn't say is like 
my favorite <laughs> shiny that we could have had with this. Hydro Palm, jeez. That's not going to be strong from a, a C-Dot, is it? I mean, it was alright. I mean, the rain is boosting it, but it's not Stab. I feel like we can catch this in Ultra Ball, but yeah. Definitely let me know what you guys feel down in the comments, especially Timmy, because... Uh, I mean, having a grass type and a dark type on the team would be good for us since, you know, we could use more type coverage and stuff like that. So, all right, we got it. What should we name this, though? Sort of like a ninja stain, something like that. I'm trying to think. Because I feel like Silver Chariot would definitely not be a good name for it. Um... Let me search this up. Ninja Stand Jojo. I mean... Ebony Devil wouldn't work. The Devil... <laughs> the de that's not That's not a Ninja Stand. I mean, I guess it's like kind of sneaky, but it's more like Chucky the Killer Doll. Um... Okay, this is going to be a really weird name, but, um... Is this the name of the stand or the name of the boy? Boy, cute man, Jojo. Uh, it's the name of the stand. Okay, so there's this... For anybody that doesn't watch Jojo, uh, there is a stand in part four that's a reference to Boys to Men, the R&B group from the eight, uh, 90s, 80s, 90s, around that era. A very, very popular group, R&B group, um, and, uh, basically it's a kind of stand that, uh, you play, the user is a little kid who plays rock, paper, scissors with, uh, anybody, and if, if he wins, then he takes their stand power from them, um, like a little bit of their stand power, so that's what Boy 2 Man is, and, uh, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, that's, that's the first thing that came to mind, so we'll just name it Boy 2 Man. Um, <laughs> but there's a little synopsis for you. And we got ourselves the red scale. Alright. Well, there's our shiny, guys. Not as good as a Zangoose, I'd say, but it's another Hoenn Pokemon, so I'll take that for sure. Especially since I'm I'm kind of a fan of Shiftry. It's just not what I would have chosen first. Okay, so... If, if just saying that until we evolve it, we don't unlock the grass type, I'm not going to count this as something that we can catch. Which, I'm not saying because I don't like Bell Awesome, because I'm alright with Bell Awesome. I mean, it's literally the starter that I chose when uh, we did the white 2 tag lock. Uh, realizing it now, I probably would have picked a Zoomerl instead, because uh, Belly, shout out to Belly, also a reference to Lonely Hermit's channel. Um, but... Okay, that's a hairy mama. That is a hairy mama, and we just unlocked the fighting type, so... This is a Pokemon we can catch for sure. Assuming that the Sand Tomb won't kill it. Oh, come on, Dumbling. <laughs> I feel like I should have an MVP rule, or, or a classic Mon rule, where if I've used a Pokemon before, I should just use the nickname that I always use for it, but... I'm gonna use a JoJo name for this too, unless it decides not to stay in this Ultra Bowl. Probably could have just used a regular Pokeball, but I'm just going to use an Ultra Ball, not to risk it. Alright. Well, let's see what JoJo character we can name this after. Um, It's female, but I feel like this character's name is, is uh, gender neutral because it's just a word. Uh, in part three, there is a gorilla stand user, or orangutan. Sorry, I don't want to become uncultured, or look uncultured, or not know my monkey breeds. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, there's an orangutan stand user named Forever, uh, and he's a guy orangutan, uh, which is very clear by the way that he acts, but, you know, we're just going to name it Forever. I could have named it Strength. I could have just named it after his stand, but... Whatever. Whatever. I read Gyarados wasn't acting right. Well, it was actually a, uh... Orangish... Sort of... Nutmeg-colored... Acorn. I dragged that out for too long. I, I meant to make a joke about the fact that it was a shiny C-Dot, not a shiny Gyarados, but, uh... Whatever. We're back on Route 43. Let's get the heck out of here. While dodging all trainers possible. 
Could have had a slugma. That would have been nice. Ah, oh, dang it. I had a feeling that there was going to be a trainer over here, and I went here anyway. Murkrow. We'll just keep him dragon flying. Beckle! Alright. I believe if I surf... Gosh darn it, I didn't want to run... Ooh, Magmortar would have been here too. This was just the fire-type grass, I guess. I'm alright with Infernape, though. A fully evolved Sinnoh starter that's good and competitive, unlocked the fighting type for us, and is overall just a great Pokemon. Um... I'm very, very content with the encounter we did get on Route 43. And I'm sure you guys are too. No, I don't want your phone number. You didn't have a Clefairy, you had a Bulbasaur. No, your Pokemon species, kid. Alright, Slugma. And uh, I was going to record the other episode of this, by the way. Um, the episode that's supposed to go up on Friday just because I have time. But I think since I'm asking you guys what I should do with CDOT and everything like that, I'll have this go up the day that it's supposed to. You guys let me know what you think, and then on f on Thursday I will record the next episode uh, for it to go up on Friday. So yeah, 100% if you're watching this video and you made it this far, definitely, definitely let me know what you think is fair with the CDOT. If I evolve it in Nuzleaf and eventually Shift Tree, if that should count as me having a dark type and unlocking the grass type, or if I should wait until I unlock the grass type to use it. Definitely, definitely let me know. Uh, but we get, we got plenty of time left in this episode, um, so I think we can start adventuring into the Team Rocket base while our game is glitched out. <laughs> Alright, there's Lance. Dragonite, Hyper Beam. That wasn't a Hyper Beam, that looked like a headbutt. What took you so long, Fern? Just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Gotta love the classic Team Rocket base music. Fern, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Okay, whatever. Alright, Team Rocket HQ. So there's going to be a couple of uh, Team Rocket grunts that we're going to have to fight, but um, I'm definitely going to go over to turn off the uh, sensors. Hey, intruder alert. Yep, yeah, that's me. I'm the intruder. Ha ha ha. Alright. Manager Tenure is sending out a Venomoth. Okay, so their levels are still fairly low. I don't really have to worry about anything here. I would use the speed up button, but I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm pretty sure the admin that we fight down here is uh, the older looking guy with the purple hair. I always forget his name. I know there's... Uh, the, fe the female one is Ariana or something like that, right? Something like that. And then um, the other guy admin is archer but i always forget the third guy's name it's like a, an a name like i don't know team rocket admins oh there's four of them forgot about that okay trainer list gosh darn it give me their names his name is petrol right that's, that's the guy, yeah, Petrol. It's not an A name, it's a P name. Uh, and then the other guy is Proton, the guy with the blue hair. And then, yeah, Executive Ariana and Executive Archer. So, those are the four Team Rocket admins. Alright, Okuyas is level 37. Porygon 2. We'll go ahead and send out Set. Yeah, um, along with the thing about CDOT, also let me know if you guys think I should add Inferno to the team and uh, replace Camera Up, because Abdul's been on the team for a while, but this is also the second time where I've been like, okay, we're going to replace him. Um, I just don't know if I want to replace him with another fire type. That's the thing. Because even though it's going to be fighting type, and some of you might be saying, oh, if you want a fighting type so bad, why don't you add add the, the Hariyama, but I don't know. I feel like Inferno would be a better fighting type for us to have. And I could oh, Fluffy, right? That's what it said that this guy was going to send out. We'll send out Abdul again, ironically. <laughs> Alright. You are sending out a Fluffy, which will be easily taken care of by my magnitude. As Drizzle, interesting. And I use Lava Tomb. It's going to knock it out anyways, but I was going for a magnitude. Uh, anyways, I got to start checking the, the abilities of the Pokemon we catch. Because uh, some of them I send it directly to the PC without any question, and then I don't check their their uh, 
abilities. And we're invisible again. Yay. Okay, I think if I go this way, yeah, the, the PC's down there, so uh, we don't get detected by the statues anymore, thankfully. Okay, well that, that blob of code is, uh, or whatever it is, is a trainer. I had a feeling. But as soon as we battle this uh, preschooler uh, with a Cresselia, uh, we should be able to see where we're going. Alright, let's go ahead and hit you with a slash. Is that going to one-shot a level 20 Cresselia? No. Not even close. We'll hit it with the Dragon Claw, then. Is that going to finish it off? Yup. We should definitely put somebody else in front. Okoyasu's already leveled up. Luxio. Okay, we'll switch out to Abdul. We'll speed up into it. Gosh darn it, this is the second time I switched out to him um, to defeat, defeat an electric type with a ground type move, and I used the wrong move. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright. Rockin' Uh, we can hit it with a... Yeah, this is another thing. We could really use that, that shiftery, because we could use something to defeat water types with, but... I mean, we're already six badges into the game, and we're still considering team members to get coverage for. The series is kind of flying by, but at least, you know, once we're done with the Johto part of the game, we'll, we will be going to Kanto. Um, so, you know, at least the series isn't going to be super short, because this is episode 10, and we're already in Mahogany Town. So, we are flying through this game. Might have to consider my next series already pretty soon. I wonder which uh, solo series I'm going to do next. A deep sea scale. I f believe that's our second one. Whatever. Wait, I, I got to turn off the actual thing. I got to use the computer. Yes, please turn off all the, the surveillance. We do not want to be attacked by grunts that can't even come close to defeating us. All right. I guess we'll put uh, Kaicho in the front. I do like seeing a Charizard behind me. I love its following spread in this gen. Charizard may have dropped a bunch of uh, spots in my favorite Pokemon list, um, but I, I gotta I gotta admit, if you really look at Charizard and think about it, it's got a really awesome design. It's just the fact that it's just seen all the time everywhere, and it keeps on getting forms and stuff like that. It's just I'm kind of burnt out on it, but when you see Charizard in the older gens, you can't help but smile. It's There's a reason why a lot of people see it as the best Pokemon, it's just I don't have that attachment to it as much anymore. I'm sure some of you guys feel the same way, like you want to love Charizard so much, but it's just... There's a reason why you think it's overrated. Because obviously people that are huge fans of Charizard don't think it's overrated. They're like, yeah, it gets a lot of love, but there's a reason for that. And then, you know, there's people like me who's just like, yeah, I like Charizard, but I think it's overrated. Like, there's a part of me that's just like, there, there's no way people should like this thing this much. Um, I look at Incineroar and I'm just like, I'm surprised that there's so many people that don't love and appreciate Incineroar as much as I do. And that's just because I have my own, my own bias for Incineroar, but like, you know, people like their favorite Pokemon for their own reasons. and. You know, you can't just tell somebody their their opinion is invalid that they like Charizard just because you think it's overrated. It's it's complicated. But Charizard is a good Pokemon. It used to be my favorite Pokemon, so there's a little backstory about me. Um but I believe we could take on one more Team Rocket Grunt. Um this is the portal pad, so I can't go that way. Here I am forgetting which way I'm supposed to go. This way, right? Yep. Yeah. Item a spell tag. I think that keeps wild Pokemon away if you have it on the first uh, member of your party. Okay. Unless there... Okay, there's another item. A big mushroom. That's going to be some money for us. That's that's good. Um, okay. I thought so. Here's the portal. Um, which brings us to the beginning. Okay, that's what that does. I thought that's what it did. But I just wanted to check it out because it's been a while since I've played Johto. All right, we'll definitely go to the next floor, see what that's up, uh, what's up with that, and then, um, hint, hint, I'll be ending up the episode there, but 
Yeah, let's go downstairs. There's Lance the Dragon Master. Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired here. Yes. That's why I wanted to go down there. Wanted him to heal us before uh, we saved and ended off the episode. Because unless you guys tell me I should use the Sita, I'm not leaving this area. Because I don't need a grind or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to save the game. And as I do that, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of the type lock you guys rock you guys are amazing thank you guys so much for the support on this series um once again i want to ask you guys to let me know down in the comments if i should use that cedar if i evolve it you know just to bend the rules a little bit uh I, i'm just really curious about that because of course if i evolve it on like the grass type and we've already had to deal with complications with that in the past so just want to know your honest opinions on it. Also, let me know if Infernape should be on the team instead of Avdol, or what you guys think I should do with the team in general. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I wanted to talk about. Make sure to check out the three-way soul link, like I said before, and uh, check out all my links down in the description, including Discord, Twitter, all that good jazz like that. And uh, yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of the series and other videos and streams on my channel. This is Inferno Man burning out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.